Hi friends, welcome back to Manifest with Armini. My name is Armini and I'm a Law of Attraction consultant. Um, I decided to make a third video finally on my Feeling It Real series and this is an important one. They are all important steps. Um, I'd say this is the one a lot of people leave out. Um, so if you guys have, have not watched the series yet, I'll link the first two underneath this video. Um, so the first one was about letting it feel real as in like to not idealize it in a way as to say if I could just have this one thing then everything in my life would be perfect and I wouldn't want anything else that's not true okay when things are real it means that it's cool it's great it doesn't mean that's the be all and end all and this is going to solve all your problems no the, the, we're human beings the nature of what we're doing it, my hair keeps like sticking out on the side I'm sorry <laughs> It's distracting me. Um, yeah, we are human beings. We are always going to want something more, something else. We're expanding. That is the whole point. As long as you are um, having, you know, this human experience, you're going to be wanting something next. This desire is putting you through God. The dreamer in you is God, right? So don't fool yourself. Don't try to fool yourself saying that um, if when I have this, everything's going to be perfect. Just think about when I have this, this thing is great, okay? Um, so the second video I had made was about um, feeling it real. I, it was basically, I mean, the, the real main point for that, the takeaway hopefully was um, that you want to do it first person, present tense. First person, present tense, um, feel it real, make that conscious contact with it. And that is the, the meat of it. Um, I want to make a third part, a follow-up, because this part is essential and a lot of people leave it out. And these are the people who say, I felt it real, how come it didn't work? Well, what are you doing since then? Like, what have you been doing since then? Have you been, like, accepting that it was real, that you did that and that it's going to bear fruit? Or have you been telling yourself again and again how it hasn't come yet, how you haven't experienced this yet, are you counting the time, are you wondering why it hasn't happened, when it's going to show up, if it's ever going to show up. That is killing your seed, it is not letting it grow. Um, so this is really something that you want to check it, check yourself before you wreck yourself kind of situation. Um, if you are allowing yourself to get to the point where you did feel it real, you made conscious contact with it. Why? What are you doing when you're walking away from that? Like when you're, like if you do it when you're falling asleep, then when you wake up the next morning, are you reminding yourself how this situation is still not um, working out for you, or are you reminding yourself you still don't have this? Or who? What are you identifying as? So in a nutshell, this is what Neville describes as carrying around you, carry that feeling around you of feeling it real, that thing you did, carry it around it around with you like a perfume like it should always be in the air it should always be reminding you you know so because when you tend to wear a certain scent that's sort of you it's part of you and you're so used to smelling it so natural and you know it's there so like for example a friend if they always wear a certain if they use a certain lotion or or wear a certain perfume or cologne um if you're gonna meet them somewhere and they're coming from behind you can sometimes get a whiff of their scent before um, you actually see them, depending on which way the wind is blowing, I guess. But you know what I mean? Like there is a, a scent carried around you when you are wearing that perfume, when you are being the person wearing that perfume. So when you are the person who has experienced this in imagination, in your mind's eye, you want to carry that around with you so that you're constantly, um, as at, at least when you bring it up in your mind, when the topic comes up in your mind, it carries that con that idea that this is taken care of. This is, um, I felt myself into this. I know what it feels like when it's already a reality. And that's what you want to be tapping into again and again. You don't want to revert back to um, like the story in the Bible that says, don't become a pillar of salt, you know. Um, you don't want to preserve yourself into the old version of you and how you saw the subject. Because this is now something that is real for you that, that that's what you want to 
um, consider it because until you consider it real to you it's still something you haven't experienced and it will still be something you haven't experienced tomorrow because you're putting it in the future um, you're waiting for something to show up no you want to carry around this feeling of reality of it at, when you tapped into that feeling of what you feel like when you are the person experiencing that carry that around with you don't walk away from it and say that was nice now back to whatever it was it's been for me until now this is i want to say the word crucial it's sometimes we do this without realizing it because we enjoyed it so much that we carry around that feeling with us just because it makes us feel good that's i that's ideal <laughs> like that's great but sometimes we need a reminder and that's okay but pay attention to what you're doing like this is why neville says where's your dwelling place is your dwelling place the old man the old version of you who is still um you know in self-torment and is still suffering and still thinking about how i really want this but i don't have it and i don't know how it's possible and i'm just not having it. i'm not the person who has this yet I'm not the person who has the lover has the money has the whatever you know or have you now uh been renewed by the transforming of your mind um and actually begun to walk and be you know the person who is carrying around this essence of the new um slightly different version of you okay thank you guys so much this video is like so i'm so glad i made this video because it, it's it's a really um <laughs> oops this is the first time making a video with him in the room um so yeah this is a it was a really uh i'd say essential follow-up to that's cairo cairo um it's an essential follow-up to the whole feeling it real because you can feel it real but if you just walk away from it and pretend that was just that that's just daydreaming you know and daydreaming is not bad if you're carrying the feeling throughout all right well time to wrap it up <laughs> i'm trying to make another couple of videos for you guys and um, that's it. If you guys have any questions or comments and want to share your experiences, uh, please do so in the comments. If you like this video and you want more similar videos, please click like. If you haven't subscribed yet and you'd like to, please do. Um, thanks, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.